Teguk refers to the source of everything in the universe and the universal law in which everything continuously goes through cycles of creation and destruction. Pumse Teguk symbolizes the root principle of universal philosophy and is constructed by applying the truth inherent in Teguk's yin and yang principles. Teguk Chilja stands for Gan and symbolizes a mountain that embodies the meaning of mass and firmness. We will now take a look at the Pumse of Chiljang. Teguk Chiljang consists of 13 key moves, namely Sonnal Godoro Aremaki, Godoro Patangson Anmaki, Bojumok, Kawimaki, Murupchigi, Hechomaki, Dujumok Chochojirigi, Okoro Aremaki, Dungjumok Pakachigi, Pyochokchagi, Yopchirugi, Bomsogi, and Juchunsogi. These are the 13 key moves of Teguk Chiljang. We will now take a closer look at each of the key moves of Teguk Chiljang. Sonnal Aremaki is a technique used to block, defend the lower body with your arms and with the help from an assisting hand. The blocking hand is placed over the knee, forward, about two fists length apart. The assisting hand is raised to the same level as the elbow of the arm blocking the lower body. The wrist of the assisting arm is placed where it crosses the center line. The space between the outer wrist and torso should be about one hand blade apart. The elbow should be naturally close to the torso. Be careful not to let your blocking hand move outside the line connecting your leg and body. The assisting armpit should not detach from your body, making the elbow rise up. Godoro Batangson Anmaki is also a blocking technique. When initiating this move, straighten the assisting arm slightly at the solar plexus level. Start your blocking hand one hand's length above your shoulder and block inwards. Place the palm of your hand on the blocking arm in front of the solar plexus. The back of the assisting hand should point upward and assist by letting the elbow of the blocking arm lightly rest on it. Block by pulling the elbow of the blocking arm towards the body and pull your assisting arm. Bojumok is a move to envelop the right closed fist with the left hand. The four fingers of your left hand wrap around the four fingers of your right fist. The left thumb wraps around the right thumb. The space between your fists should be a sheet of paper's width. The assisting fist starts in front of the lower abdomen and is raised to the front of the philtrum, passing the front of the chest. 
the internal angle of your arm should be between 90 degrees and 120 degrees. Kawimaki is a maki move that performs anparmok bakadmaki and aremaki at the same time. It starts with both arms crossed in front of the chest. The wrist of the arm performing anparmok bakadmaki should be placed at the solar plexus level, and your fist must not rise above your shoulder. The fist that performed aremagi should maintain its position two raised fists above the knee. Murupchigi is a technique used to kick upwards with the knee by folding the leg. Kick upwards with your knee folded as much as possible. Hechomaki is a technique used to block inside out simultaneously by crossing your wrists in front of your chest. Your fists must be in front of your shoulders when blocking. Your elbows should point downward, and your two armpits should softly touch your torso. Dujumok Jocho Jirugi is a technique used to bend back and thrust by pointing the back of your hand downward. Your two fists start at the back, with the backs of your hands facing upward, and thrust downward after bending back. The key targets are Zhengguang and Hyopbok pressure points. When thrusting, keep your arms in, touching the torso, and place your elbows close to your torso. Jochojirugi should be performed by thrusting upward slightly from below. When performing this move, the elbow should not move away from the body too much. Your fists must not open outward. Be careful not to let your fists rise above the elbow level or thrust downward. Otkoro aremaki is a technique used to block in front of the lower abdomen by making a diagonal loop with the two wrists. For when apkubi, start with your right arm back and cross your right arm upwards. For oren apkubi, start with your left arm back and cross your left arm upwards. Both elbows should be touching your torso. Dungjumok Pakachigi Starts with the first of the opposite shoulder. The assisting arm should cross below the thrusting arm to initiate the preparatory move. Then, strike a target with the back of your fist using the torque of your torso. Your fist should align with your shoulder line and your elbow should be naturally straight. Pyojokchagi is a technique used to create a target with the palm of your hand. Kick outside in using the foot blade. Be careful not to kick with the sole of your foot. Yokjurigi is a technique used to thrust sideways while standing sideways like Juchunsogi. The flow of force progress transferred from the ground is pushed up to the fist through the elbow. Pomsogi posture is achieved by shifting your weight on your hind leg and standing low after setting your front foot forward about a foot length from the tip of the big toe to your hind foot. Raise your heel so only the ball of the front foot touches the ground. And support your weight with your hind leg so that your weight is distributed equally on both your hind and front leg 9 to 1. Slowly tighten legs inward and stand with your knees tilted forward. Be careful not to let your upper body move too much forward or backward. The last of the 13 key movements is Juchumsogi. Juchumsogi posture is achieved by keeping the tops of your feet parallel, about two feet length apart, standing low. 
These are the 13 key moves of Taeguk Chiljang. We will now look at the moves in succession, connecting each move. The key moves of Taeguk Chiljang first part consist of Orun Patang Son Anmaki, Orun Apchagi, and Wen Anmaki. Wen Patang Son Anmaki, Wen Apchagi, and Orun Anmaki. Wen Sonna Godoro Aremaki, and Orun Sonna Godoro Aremaki. Shift your weight to your right foot from Junbi Jase. Turn left using the right ball of your foot and assume the Bonsogi posture. Start the preparatory move for Anmaki while bending your knee using the momentum from Apchagi and complete the Momtong Maki. Move the moment your heel touches the ground, followed by the ball of the forward kicking foot. Shift your weight to your front leg and at the same time spin your torso clockwise using the left ball of your foot as an axis to perform the preparatory moves for Patang Son Anmaki. Then, spin and set your foot in line with the direction of progression and complete Patang Son Anmaki. Shift your weight to your hind leg. Perform Wen Duikubi by spinning your torso using the left ball of your foot and setting your right foot. Cautions for Taeguk Chiljang. First part, taking a closer look. When spinning 180 degrees and setting your foot from Wen Bomsogi to Oren Bomsogi, be careful not to overdo the switch to your right foot with your left foot fixed. When performing Diki and Dora Diki, it is important to understand the coordination between moving the center of the body and spinning with the torso. We will now practice the moves of Taeguk Chiljang, first part in succession with watching the video. The key moves of Taeguk Chiljang, second part, consist of Orun Godoro Patang Son Anmaki. Orun Godoro Tungjungmok Apchigi. Wen Godoro Patang Son Anmaki. Wen Godoro Tungjungmok Apchigi. And Bojumok. After Godoro Patang Son Anmaki, perform the preparatory move as if you're pulling your blocking hand to your opposite ear. The back of the striking hand should face the ear and your elbow should not move away from the back of the hand of the assisting arm. The target for Dungjung Mok Apchigi is the opponent's philtrum. The elbow of the striking arm should not move outward. Be careful not to lose balance due to your upper body swerving front and back, left and right. Cautions for Taeguk Chiljang, second part, taking a closer look. When performing Godoro Batang Son Anmaki, you should block as if you're pulling your elbows towards your body. When performing Godoro Dungjumok Apchigi, your elbows should not move outward. And be careful not to lose balance due to excessive swerving of your upper body. We will now practice the moves of Taeguk Chiljang, second part, in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Taeguk Chiljang, third part, consist of Kawimaki and Kawimaki, Hechomaki, Orun Murub Oryochigi, and Tujumok Chocho Chirigi, Okoro Aremaki, Hechomaki, Wen Murub Oryochigi, and Tujumok Chocho Chirigi, and Okoro Aremaki. Kawimaki is a technique used to block by transferring and distributing force to both arms. 
The Kawimaki and Kawimaki performed in succession is the first move of Teguk Chijang third part and should be repeated twice from the same sogi posture respectively. When first performing Kawimaki from Wen Apkubi, perform Oren Aremaki and Wen Anparmok Bakalmaki. Then, Complete the Wen Apgubi Kawimaki by following it with Wen Aremaki and Oren Anparmok Bakalmaki in succession. Next, set your foot with Oren Apgubi, perform Wen Aremaki and Oren Anparmok Bakalmaki, and complete Oren Apgubi Kawimaki by performing Oren Aremaki and Wen Anparmok Bakalmaki. We will now connect the Kawimaki moves. Dujumok Jocho Jirugi. This move is used to hold and pull an opponent's neck or head and attack an opponent's face or torso with your knee at the same time. First, open your hands so they face each other, then pull them down. It is more effective if you pull your fists down to the ankle of the kicking foot. When you hold and pull an opponent down, you can exert more force if you pull your wrists downward. The pulling down of your opponent and murupchigi should be performed simultaneously. When initiating the preparatory moves for okkuro aremaki from the right side, make a diagonal loop by moving the right wrist up and left wrist down. When initiating from the left side, do the opposite and make a diagonal loop by moving the left wrist up and right wrist down. Both wrists should be placed in front of the lower abdomen, and both elbows should be tightened inward. Cautions for Teguk Chijang, third part, taking a closer look. Be careful not to move the upper body excessively when performing Kawimaki in succession. When performing Murupchigi, do not pull while the back of your hands are facing upward. During Okkuro Aremaki, do not straighten your elbow or let your armpit detach from your body. We will now practice the moves of Teguk Chijang, third part, in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Teguk Chijang fourth part consist of Wen Dungju Mok Pakachigi, Oren Pyojok Chagi, and Oren Pargunchi Pyojok Chigi, Oren Dungju Mok Pakachigi, Wen Pyojok Chagi, and Wen Pargunchi Pyojok Chigi, Wen Yopmaki, and Oren Yopchirigi. In order to connect the last move of Teguk Chijang third part that you just learned, Wen Apkubi Okkoro Aremaki, to the first move of Teguk Chijang fourth part, Wen Dungju Mok Pakachigi, the preparatory move must be performed first by crossing the left arm over the right arm so it is placed on the right shoulder. Then perform Dungju Mok Pakachigi at shoulder height by utilizing the spin of the torso. The elbow should straighten naturally and be careful not to let the back of the fist move away from the end of your shoulder line. Pyojok Chagi is a technique used to kick a target with the back of the foot blade. During Palgunchi Pyojok Chigi, the target must not wrap around the elbow. It is important to perform Pyojok Chagi and Pyojok Chigi in succession. This is how you connect Pyojok Chigi and Dungjungmok Pakachigi. Raise your posture by straightening the knees from the Juchunsogi position. Change direction by moving and setting the right foot at the same time. Then perform Dungju Mok Pakachigi using the spin of the torso. The right foot transitions to Apsogi. And the left foot is pulled slightly as your center moves forward. Cautions for Teguk Chijang, fourth part. Taking a closer look. Be careful not to bend the elbow 
when performing dungju mok pakachigi. The target is the palm of the hand when performing pyojokchigi. Be careful not to let the target move. We will now practice the moves of Taeguk Chiljang fourth part in succession while watching the video. <laughs> this concludes the training for Taeguk Chiljang. We will take another look at all the moves and master Punse. We have looked at the key moves of Taeguk Chiljang and provided thorough explanations for each move and things to watch out for. You will be able to learn much better postures and techniques if you continue training with the spirit and firmness that symbolize Taeguk Chiljang. We will see you again in the Taeguk Paljang video. Thanks for watching.